Hello, and welcome to the word for today. Over the next few days, we're going to be going through the 23rd Psalm together. Today, we look at put it down. When we look at Psalm 23, beginning at verse 1, we see these words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, we think about that, that the Lord is our shepherd. That means that we have to be willing to put down our own shepherd's crook and stop trying to lead ourselves. When we try to lead ourselves, we fall very short of the places that we need to go. And we don't really take the hook and try to lead us back, you know, to the places that we need to be. But the shepherd, when we put down our, that shepherd's crook and we say, you know what, let me stop trying to lead myself, which is taking me to a lot of selfish desires and a lot of wants and a lot of things that are just not healthy. When we say, Lord, you take control and you take reign of my life and pull me back to where I need to be, then we begin to have this sense of, following and the sense of no longer having wants because see our wants often come from a place of selfishness of trying to do our own thing but when we're being led by the father then we say to him lord take my wants and repurpose them in your will and let my let your will be the things that i want and then i don't have wants anymore because i'm being led by the one whose will i'm trying to follow it may sound complicated, but I ask you to think about that. Will you allow God's will to be the thing that you want most in life? Will you be willing to be led by him and put down all selfishness and allow him to look at your heart and to make it a beautiful place for him to garden? Let's pray. God, thank you because you are so good. And Lord, we need help. Lord, we confess that sometimes we have selfish ambitions, selfish desires, and we have these things that we want that really oftentimes are no good for us because we're trying to do and be our own person. We're trying to be in charge and we're trying to lead ourselves. But Lord, you call us to be led by you. <clears throat> so Lord, help us. Help us to follow you. Help us to have the desire to have your will. And forgive us, Lord, of the things that we allow to lead us that aren't you. In Jesus' name, amen. So there you have it, friends. Today, will you put down your own shepherd's crook and allow Jesus to lead you in the right paths? God bless. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.